Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia, home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. Today, two teams collide in this hotly contested, very competitive Southeastern Conference. As we're going to see the Mississippi State Bulldogs taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bringing it out. It's Smith. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. The Bulldogs offense in a tricky spot here thanks to that forward turn. And here comes the tight end who's having such a great season. Kirk, you talk to opponents and they always use the same phrase. Matchup nightmare. This guy. Well, what stands out to me with this guy is it's not very often, you're right, the defensive coordinators are most concerned about a tight end. But in this case, that is exactly what we're dealing with. This guy can hurt you in so many different ways. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Using his legs, it's ETN. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third-down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four or more yards a pop like that. They'll try to keep the opening drive going here. It's third down and two. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. It's a short completion of the big tight end. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. And the runner takes off to his right. Nice run. He's brought down at the 44. Important second down play coming up. Ball we'll handed off. They stop him at the 47, but that's enough for a first down. Chris, a really good job here by this back to be able to find that hole and pick up the yards for this first down. And boy, Georgia's had some good backs over the years, and this young man is living up to that tradition today. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Yeah. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Scanning the field. It's back. Running back grabs it on a screen. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, that being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? From the shotgun, drops back. Caught quickly. Completion sets up a second down play. Right. 
Takes the handoff. It's ETN. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier, and he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. Offense moving to a bunch formation. First down, looking to throw the football. Caught in the backfield. It's ETN. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back and a loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. Becoming a long march. Play number 10 of the drive coming up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Can they keep alive this long opening drive? It's the 11th play on third down now. Looking to pass. It's back. Running out of time in the pocket. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Well, this is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. The Bulldogs will have to kick it away. Hunter comes out for the first time today looking to pin him back. And the punt heads out of bounds. They'll spot it down around the 10-yard line. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. And here we go, Kirk. This matchup on the edge that's going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver and a guy who doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. And they'll give it to the back. And tackled after a small pickup there. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, when you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. And at fourth down, he'll punt it away here. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. Now it's second down here. To throw, it's back. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. Tackled at the 33. That's good enough for a first down. 
Well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see. They were kind of in that no man's area there. If they did not pick up the first down, would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it? But here, doesn't matter. Nice first down. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. A gain makes it second and medium. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Young. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Chris, this guy has a big-time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. The dogs are moving quickly down the field. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught behind the line. It's ETN. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. So, Kirk, we reached the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story. Getting set here now for the second period. Both offenses looking for some efficiency for a spark after that opening quarter. Scanning the field, it's back. Pressure is coming. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. The offense eager to keep this drive going, but facing a third and long from the 20 now. Looking to throw again. He lets it go. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. This one is right through. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away returner choosing to field this one tackled at the 22 good job by the coverage team and the mississippi state offense is back out there now they're coming off a quick three and out so looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency they flip it to him on the jet sweep and he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces a defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. It's a shotgun running play call. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. The offense going with the hurry up. The 
and they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Can he get there on the ground? Looks like Mississippi State will have the first down. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back to just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. Mississippi State getting set for the first and 10 now. Trying to find some room. It's Pittman. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. And the back gets the football. Stopped short the marker after just a short game. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend when the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination of this quarterback and receiver for a big day. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point makes it a four-point game. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Settled for three last time. No doubt they're looking for the end zone in this possession. Quick throw. The catch is made. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Again, makes it second and medium. Back to pass. It's back. Quick throw over the middle. And he's got it. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Offense getting set. It's second down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Evans. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. 
Now it's third and long for this offense. Football right at midfield. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Caught near the sticks. It's Love it. And moves the ball to the 35. And another first down. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. Looks right for a quick completion. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. A game makes it second and medium. Back to throw. It's back. Looking for the wide out. Makes the catch downfield. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. And brought down at the line with that big defensive tackle. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Second and goal for the offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. He's got it right near the end zone. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. Love to see the positive yards here. Down inside the 10-yard line, you're looking for anything to get closer to the goal line. Now it's going to set up third and goal. Got to find a way to get this ball into the end zone. Game moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. How about that, Chris? The quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly, and why not? With a receiver like this who can run like that, get him the ball as fast as you can and let him do his thing. Now they'll set up for the point after. And the PAT puts them up three. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Pittman. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Trying to get the throw off. Aggressive call, a deep shot on first down, but incomplete. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. Going to have to make some adjustments there, and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. So, second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw. It's Shapen. He's running out of time here. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Mississippi State getting set for the first and 10 now. 
from the shotgun. Drops back looking for an open man. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. They'll crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Makes a quick catch. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. New set of downs for the offense. First and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. He's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Shapen. Let's it fly out of the wideout. He's a wide open receiver, complete. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Made the defense look slow that time. Chris, as you know, anytime you hit a big post route like this for a touchdown, the timing between the quarterback and the receiver is essential. Nice job of not waiting too long. Quarterback takes a hitch, gets the ball out early, and allows his receiver to run underneath a beautifully thrown football for the touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 14-10 now. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Quick throw to his receiver. Caught over the middle. It's Lovett. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. And the offense will now quickly spend the timeout. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Grab down the middle. It's love it. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Dropping back. It's back. It's a quick grab. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. He was successful with his first try. This one from 39 yards out. Long enough and good. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Fields it inside the five-yard line. They finally make the stop there after a huge gain, but that wraps up the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. 
Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Athens to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. The dogs will kick it off to begin the second half. Bringing it out, it's Pittman. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Mississippi State offense is back out there now. First play of the second half is a handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. They'll give it to the back. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Quick throw, testing the middle. He pulls it in for a big game. Tackled at the 32, that's enough for a first down. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. On first down, it's play action. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. On first and ten, looking to throw. Got him, he's sacked. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. See if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. Now they're running on the toss. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back, it's Shapen. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. Great job here by this offense to open up the second half with an aggressive approach, sending a clear message to this defense that they are ready to be aggressive to win this game. Mississippi State getting set for the first and 10 now. pass on the jet sweep good enough for first down yardage
And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Here's the handoff. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. Second down after that previous play. They call the counter run here. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. The pass rush closing in. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Boy, Chris, this drive looked outstanding until they got into the red zone. Seems like the wheels have come off. Third down and long makes it very tough to execute in the red zone. Now let's see what they come up with here on this fourth down play. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. And this one is right through. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They settled for a field goal in the last possession. They're looking for the end zone, no doubt, here. They start the drive with a good throw to the right. They're finally able to stop, and the quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Chris, this is a great game, but I'm always so impressed with the offensive line because they sell this as much as anything. The quarterback's making the read, trying to figure out if the defense is committed to the run or the pass, and then he's going to go the other direction. He makes the right throw here out to the flat to the right, but the offensive line showing the defense it's a run look is what opens this up eventually for the nice game. So ball at the 30, this is a manageable third down play for the offense. Try and muscle for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. A good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases, to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. Here's a first and 10 play. And the wideout goes in motion. Play action here on first down. Fires it to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Young. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure. It's allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. The dogs pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. And the single back takes the handoff tackle but only after picking up a fresh set of downs well the offense goes with a counter play here and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down again you got to be disciplined on defense 
Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counter play, and you better be home on the back side. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. The game is five, so it's second and five now. Seventh play of the drive coming up. Looking to pass this time. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Risky throw. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. Fires it to the wide out. He's got it for a big game. The tackle is made. The offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage rolled to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. And the Bulldogs looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he's finally tackled out at the two-yard line. Here comes some more big bodies out for the defense. And so far, we have been treated to a serious quarterback duel. Both these guys putting on a show so far. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. They pressure him and sack him. He'll be tackled inside the 10. Man, the defense comes up with a big play here, backed up close to their own goal line. But as an offensive coordinator, you're inside that three-yard line at second and goal. If you're going to throw the ball, man, the ball has got to get out of that quarterback's hands quickly and not give the defense a chance to get after him and bring him down for a sack. Urgency here. Got to cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Looking downfield, it's back. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Dogs! And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. Oh, man, I think the defense was so caught up with their eyes on the quarterback, they completely lose the running back out of the backfield. Nice job by the play caller here of getting the ball out to the running back instead of the receiver for the touchdown. Now the crucial PAT to stretch the lead to a field goal. And the kick is good. A three-point game now in the fourth quarter. It's all up to the defense. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he takes this from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. The last possession is settled for three. Let's see if they can reach the end zone this time. Looking for the wide out. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Second down play coming up. Handoff here from the shotgun. But only a one-yard gain, so it's third and nine coming up. 
Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Oh, just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. They bring the punter onto the field now. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He gets it away. Directional kick with nice distance. And the returner heads out of bounds. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position. Very efficient. Precise. Handoff from the shotgun. And I like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Second down play coming up for this offense. To throw, it's back. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target overthrowing it. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's ETN. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. On the return, it's Coleman. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Mississippi State offense is back out there now. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense in hurry-up mode. They look to throw it here on second down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Good job of the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down mark. Interesting call here, Chris, with a screen pass in the fourth quarter late in the game. I think they're expecting the defense to get upfield on the pass rush. They give the defense all the credit. Recognizing it, almost really anticipating that this screen was coming, and then rallying to the ball. Dropping back. It's Shapen. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. The punt team making their way on the field. He's on to boot it away now. This one will be fair caught. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Oh. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. It's an out route, the catch made, and a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. Fresh set of downs, it's first and ten. Quick throw out 
left complete. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking to pass. It's back. Snags the quick throw. Both carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup was good enough to move the chains. First down. Oh, nice job here by the receiver to be able to pick up this first down. I guess the only thing he could have done better was stay in bounds. You got to stay in bounds to be able to keep that clock moving with the lead. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Hand off as they try to work the clock here. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. That run sets up a critical third down play. Offense looking to throw the ball. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. I think that was a coverage sack as much as anything. They sat back in a dime defense with six defensive backs, and none of them blitzed. They just sat back in coverage, and the defensive line eventually came up with a sack. The Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 15. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? That one sails incomplete. They're too far. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Back to throw. It's Shapen. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. That is an ill-advised pass right there. Falling away from his target, throwing the ball off his back foot. The important play right here. Close game, fourth quarter, third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's complete downfield. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. We reach the two-minute warning now. Can this offense come away with a late comeback victory? This Mississippi State offense is quickly moving down the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And it's intercepted! Big takeaway, now looking for a big return. At the 20, at the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And the defense adds six with the interception return. 
And the interception taken to the house, a pick six, potential game-changing play there. Man, nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose. Now the all-important extra point. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Mississippi State offense is back out there now. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. Quick throw to his receiver. It's caught downfield. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. Looking to throw. It's Shapen. The pocket breaking down. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field. And that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, Chris, as you know, any more in college football, these tight ends are essentially wide receivers. They move them all over the place and try to find a good matchup. And they have one. They're just unable to complete the pass. Offense comes to the line for third down off the incompletion. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. The crowd is roaring, trying to help this defense on fourth down. Final minutes here, they'll throw it deep downfield. Oh, that one's picked off. And he's got some open field ahead. Not just the pick, but a big return. Sets up the offense in good position. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Up by two possessions here. They have a chance to put the game on ice right now. Trying to find room. It's ETN. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that run on the previous play. The shotgun handoff here. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Linebackers making some adjustments now. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg.
After the pressure field goal, they'll kick it away. The offense has a lot of work to do and not much time to do it. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Back to pass. It's shaping. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. And the pass falls incomplete as time expires. 